Ну он это. Целый, вроде по нему ничего да нет. А зачем? Цветочек аленькой. Мина сверху. А сверху вот чем-то было, да? Да, там два сброса было. А, сбросы были? Угу. Видно, что это. Ну. Один считай сюда. Один вон там спереди. А, он на углу там, да? Где не ход. Ну, тут выгорело внутри. Вот второй сброс. А да, это пулеметов не было на люке? А? На люке не было, нету пулемета, да? Не, а нету. Ukrainian troops have been conducting a military operation in the Kursk region since August the 6th. This fact has taken the Russian leadership by surprise and poses a challenge to the Putin regime. A superpower without full control over its territory is a demonstration of its weakness and vulnerability. This development undermines the widespread idea that Russian President Putin holds all the cards in the war and can dictate the terms. The effect and purpose of the Kursk operation may also be to once again demonstrate the fallacy of the Western argument about Russian red lines. An international expert from France, former employee of the KGB, and the Foreign Intelligence Service of the Russian Federation, Sergei Zyanov, shared his thoughts on these and other issues in an exclusive interview with Osbo Revitel media outlet. According to him, everyone has long understood that there is no such thing as a huge Russian state. The Russian Federation today is a huge country in terms of territory, very weak, economically ineffective. And everyone understands this. No one simply dared to show this. And now Ukraine has once again decided to demonstrate this state of affairs, he added. According to him, that is, roughly speaking, the Russian Federation has a front similar to the First World War, which they have been building since 2015 in Donbass. They have built concrete fortifications there, created defense lines on both sides. But if you just take a strong battalion and enter the Bryansk, Oryol or Lipetsk regions, then you, like Prigozhin, in 2023 can occupy them in a few hours and no one will defend themselves there because you have to understand that 17.5 million square kilometers with a population of 145 million cannot be defended he added meanwhile the russian oligarch of the first magnitude Derry paska gave an interview to a japanese agency in which he spoke unusually harshly about putin's war in ukraine he harshly criticized Russia's spending on the war, called the war itself crazy, and called for negotiations on a ceasefire without any conditions. Sergei Zyanov says that Derry Paska's statements are such a bolt from the blue because, for the first time, a truly significant person in the Russian Federation integrated into the system suddenly said openly that all of this is a complete mistake and the war must be ended. In my opinion, Derry Paska's statements demonstrated the general feeling in the oligarchic environment of the Russian Federation today. That is, this trend of dissatisfaction with Putin, it exists, but it is so sluggish. Roughly speaking, if someone removes Putin or this whole thing ends, then the elites will immediately say that we have been fighting him here for many years. But now they are not ready and do not want to climb out into the embrasure of the fight against Putin. So it is unlikely that we should expect some kind of conspiracy of oligarchs, but discontent will grow, he added. 